to walk along the far edge of Kidland Forest. Forestry has been out with clearing all the traps, so shouldn't bump in any obstacles today. What a mess these trees are. Pretty much most of them are snapped. There's a buzzard flying about in it. Camera probably won't pick it up. This little section of forest here must have been uh, very exposed. Pretty much all of the trees have been snapped. Lovely weather now with that rain stopped. That's been one thick and probably quite old tree there, totally snapped. Must take some force to snap that. All them uprooted. Kind of a good job really that all that side's been harvested and replanted before this storm. I think I've mentioned before in a video that when forestry fell, sections of forest always leave the odd standing uh, tree, which is basically somewhere for birds of prey to sit. Because if there was nowhere for them to sit and hunt, then they'd leave the area. So it ensures that they stay around. Straight in front of us now is the Border Ridge and Windy Gale. Over to the left there is um, Lamb Hill. Just last week the Montane Spine race, I think it's 260 mile fell run, it's just came through this area and I think there'll still be some stragglers coming through today along the border ridge, go over the top of Cheviot and then back down into Kirk Yetham. It's something that I wish I was fit enough to be able to do but I can't see that ever being the case. 260 miles in the black, in the snow and the ice is a little bit beyond me. We're just heading down the hill towards Oswey Burn now and it's a beautiful blue sky sunny day. Cold wind but nice. That's a uh, middle hill I think. I'm going to just go past this shed and then turn around and head for the return route, stop and have some lunch somewhere. There's a little bit of a waterfall there on the Osway Burn. I think we might look for a nice spot shortly to have lunch while we're in the sunshine. Straight up this valley is a little place called Osway Fad. I'm sure there's a place there you can actually rent out. There's very slippery this bridge. I've got the camera out in case Bob ends up on his backside. <laughs> the material for you being framed. Nice to see a little bit of sunshine for a change. It's actually a little bit warmth in it. Straight up that hill there, that's where we normally head up to the border ridge, we'll give that a miss today. Then those trees there is uh, Davidson's Lane Waterfall, we've been plenty of times before and there's Oswey Fad at the head of the valley there. I think we're going to take a turn up here and head down towards uh, Murder Clough. We'll uh, put some footage of that on as we'll pass it. This bit of forest in front of us is in a bit of a dip, so it's obviously been protected from Storm Arwen. But look on that side there, well, there's not many trees blown over, but still quite a few had the tops snapped off. Not sure what happened to that tree there, but it looks like it's actually bent and not snapped. We 
Must be the good strong gust of wind through that bit of the forest. That is just passing Murder Clough now. Be very fortunate that that fallen tree has only just missed it. It's absolutely perfect sunny weather now. Just heading off in the direction of um, Barrowburn. Nice downhill, but then straight after that is a nasty little uphill past um, Fairhoff. It's a lovely day. We're just overlooking Barrowburn Farm now, looking down the Corkard Valley in the sunshine. Just passing a few of the locals here. Hopefully, they'll be friendly. Well, I'm pleased we're nearly at the top of this hill. Oh, it's got to be my second least favourite hill in the Juviates. But probably worth it for the view once you get to the top. There's a steep climb up that hill, but we've made it. So walking down the other side now, past Fairhoff. We'll be heading along that valley um, after we've had lunch. I think lunch is just going to be in those trees straight ahead past there. Uh, I'll have a change of location for lunch today. The spot where we've had lunch on the logs and there for probably the past 20-25 years is now all totally flattened tried getting through but it's it's too tricky so I had to lunch out in the sun instead basically now we're going to follow the stream which runs along the back of the river. We're going to follow it all the way back down to Battlefield and then um, back into the Cork Valley basically. Two sides to us being the same area. Right? Quite a little pleasant walk along this river to the battlefield. A couple of slippy bits, muddy bits, but other than that, quite, quite an easy walk. It's a little bit of a steep drop on this section, but uh, I suppose you get a soft land in the water at the bottom. It's cold here in the shade, but I don't think we want to turn around this corner out in front. Should be back in the sunshine again. That's um, Battle Shield just in front of us now. Unfortunately, after that, there's a really long, pretty boring uh, section of the road. But nice day for it, so we'll crack on.
this is the boring bit along the road goes on for quite a few miles actually but it's not too bad there's just one final hill today unfortunately it's that extremely steep one there it's short but sharp but still it's a really nice day Well, that's us halfway up the final hill of the day. Just in front of us there, I don't know if it'll come out on camera or not. You can actually see the outlines of some ancient buildings. There's an archaeological dig there a few years ago. Don't quite know what they found there, but that's the ancient settlement there. And that's probably the last look up the Corpeth Valley for today. Really cold wind now, but not long. At the top of here, down the other side, we'll be back in the pub. Just over in that direction. I don't know whether the camera will pick it up, but we've got a full moon. There's up across the Simon Side Ridge and there's back to the start of a sunset over the Corkwood Valley. Well, that's all folks, back down the hill along the road to the Rose and Thistle and we'll see you on the next video, I'll leave you with that full moon up there.